Independence 2759. Give yourselves a hand out there. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes your main event tonight. Let's stand up, everybody, and make some noise. This is the main event. Stand up. Let's let him hear you. Stand up. Let's let him hear you. Let's make some noise. Boxing has arrived All in right, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Main event on heavyweight explosion. Chris Bird, 26 and 1, 14 wins by way of knockout, taking on Jose Rabalta. 15, one draw, 28 big wins by way of knockout. We're coming to you tonight from the Soaring Eagle Casino, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Just a four-day hitchhike from Saginaw. I had to get that in, thank you, Paul Simon. And there he is, Chris Bird, the hometown favorite here out of Flint, Michigan. Chris, a medalist in the 1992 Olympics, and there is Jose Rabalta. Rabalta originally out of Cuba, 36 years of age tonight. Coming in with a record, as we said, 39 and 15. One win, excuse me, one draw, 28 knockouts. Bird, Bird, of course, 27 and one. And that one loss coming to Ike Ibiabuchi. And uh, the interesting thing is, you know, after you get a knockout like he got there, you have a choice coming back quickly or not coming back. And the old Chris Bird might take somebody like Jose Revolta very lightly. And the real question was, how lightly is he taking Jose now when he really needs to prove to the world that he's back? This is what he told us. Most definitely, especially after losing to a, to a big guy like Ike. You know, he was a big guy. and. Rebolta is a big guy, and I don't take none of these heavyweights for granted anymore. I mean, I know I got, you know, pretty good defense, and I can do certain things in the ring, but you can't take anybody for granted. You know, I'm coming up from the middleweight division to the heavyweight division, fighting these big, true heavyweights where one punch can turn the fight around quickly. And I realize that now, and uh, I'm still going to do the same type of things, but I'm a little more aggressive, and hopefully I can catch him with shots and get him out of there. All right, in our matchup tonight, Rabalta with a big weight advantage, over 20 pounds, three inch height advantage, eight inch reach advantage, but of course he's eight years older. And that's the real issue here. He says he's gonna use that reach advantage to help him tonight beat this man, Chris Bird. And of course tonight, we're fighting under the Saginaw Chippewa Commission rules, 10 point must system in effect, standing eight count is allowed. Three knockdown rule in effect, you cannot be saved by the bell, and only the doctor can stop the fight. Now we're going to go up for our official introductions from our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort here in the very heart of Michigan, Cedric Kushner Promotions and Fight Night Incorporated is proud to present the main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe of Michigan in conjunction with the Association of Boxing Commissioners. Commissioners in attendance, Fred Cantu, Joe Kikwam, and Shelley Foster. The three judges scoring this bout on the 10-point must system will be Jack Richards, Dario Chirino, and John Chalk. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Dale Grable. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world in over 90 countries, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing purple trimmed with white and weighing 236 and one half pounds. A native of Cuba, but now living and fighting out of Miami, Florida, USA. He brings an excellent record of 39 victories with 28 knockouts to his credit. 
15 losses with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the veteran heavyweight, Jose Rivalta. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with silver, and weighing 215 pounds. Fighting out of Flint, Michigan, he brings an outstanding record of 26 victories with only one defeat. 14 KOs to the credit. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting one of the top ranked heavyweights in the world, Chris Bay! I get the impression, Kevin, that they like Chris here. Oh, yeah, well, it's his hometown, Michigan, you know. I mean, hey, we have him. But it's Michigan is bird, you know? Sellout crowd here tonight at the Sardinio Casino on Heavyweight Explosion. I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenbaum along with Kevin Kelly. It's main event time. Jose Rabalta seeing if he can catch lightning in a bottle. And uh, he says he's going to use that big reach to beat this man, Chris Bird. And he does have that reach advantage. Bird, of course, the southpaw comes out. Right away sticks out that right jab. Rabalta not being shy, coming right after Bird. And Chris gives him a little run around and uh, takes him to the other side of the ring. Well, I think Bird got his speed. Speed beats power any day of the week. You know, the both of them have a lot of power, but if you don't have the speed to get that power there, yeah. then he's got a lot of trouble with this Bird. This is Bird's second start. First fight back on TV since the IB Abuchi knockout. He stopped John Sargent last month in two rounds. So he's back on track right now, but uh, Jose Rabalta is a whole different story, but he's got a three-fight losing streak going, but against some very big fighters. Axel Schultz, Larry Donald, and Tommy Klitschko. But the not thing fight thing. Here, though, either, Kevin. This is the first fight in one year. Well, the big thing that we're going to do right now is going to get close to Burns to establish a jab, which he's not doing. Uh, he's popping a jab now, but he hasn't came out with it with any authority. He's got to pop the jab and back it up against the ropes. Right now, Bird is doing what he always says to people. He's frustrating and dominating him right now. And he's showing a different looks, different angles. Bird punches, he's a very hard guy to fight because he punches and it gives you an angle. So he punches and now he's going to turn him. He goes up, goes up, he's going to turn him. Right now, as you mentioned, it's Bird that's landing the jab for both and not using that big reach advantage that he said we'd be looking for. Not doing anything with the jab, getting on the inside now, actually even being able to get to the body. Dale Grable now stopping the action and there's a little bit of loose tape on the left glove of Jose Nino Rivalta. Norm Wilson getting up on the ring there. Veteran trainer out of Florida. Mr. Train George Scott. The lightweight. Time back in. Dale Grable saving us a little bit of time later. And they don't use Gaffer's tape here to really double wrap the glove. Yeah, it's it's being so used in a lot of state. Yeah. And that's something that they should be using. Bird, Rick, Rick, Rick. Bird so slipping in inside, yeah, and uh, not looking to get uh, caught on the ropes like he did with I.B. Abuchi, where he wasn't when he got tapped. Nice body shot there. But he's showing, he learns from his mistakes, and that's what he's doing right now. He's realizing his jab, realizing his speed. There's no reason for him to get into a fight with a Volta. Volta to you know, get your punches off and get out. Speaking of speed, what about the reflexes right now for Volta? What are you picking up even at this early stage, Kevin? Are they there or are they gone? Well, I'm waiting for Volta to show us that he does have his old reflexes, and um, right now he hasn't shown me anything. Got caught with a left over the top by Bird in close. Inside, fantastic hand speed by Chris Bird. Always been his number one asset. Very good hand speed. Good first round for the resident from Flint, Michigan, and a rather slow one for Nino Revolta. Punches now, be careful. Don't let him hit you with one of the wild guys. Oh, 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 oh. Take a look.
a look. Rivalta lunging and Burgess making him pay with that very good hand speed, throwing those lefts over the top. Burgess is too elusive for Rivalta. Rivalta has to get his jab established. You got two hands and you want to be more this fight, right? He needs to establish that jab to get close to Burgess. It's Corner cool told me something very strange earlier. Round number two, scheduled 10 round to Jose Rivalta in purple. Chris Bird in the black with gray. Very dominant first round for Bird. Showing good hand speed. Doesn't mean, doesn't seem to show any ill effects, Kevin, from the IBA Bucci fight. No, usually most fighters don't, you know. A lot of fighters don't, most of them. Because they realize they made a mistake and that's why they got beat. Not because of any of the ability or they're getting older, or the reflexes are getting slower. He just got caught with a punch. He realized that the punch and the reason why he made that mistake was he allowed himself to lay on the ropes. Um, Brothers trainer told me earlier, that they plan on both of punching Bird in the shoulders and the body because the body can, can't move, but the head he can. And I haven't seen that. Yet. I haven't seen Robolta trying to pop the jab to the shoulders. Well, in spite of the weight and reach advantage, Robolta cannot get inside on Bird. Bird's beating him to the jab. And a few times that Robolta's letting that left outside there, he's dropping his right, and Bird's coming up the top with his left. Showing a movement, I'm used to seeing him even show. He actually is standing in front of him. Robolta shook by that left right combination. Got the shaky legs on him. Remember, he's been stopped in his last two fights. Klitschko stopped him in two. Larry Donald stopped him in six. First fight in a year for Robolta. Timing looking very off, Kevin. I've got to say, he looks very rusty in every bit of 36 years of age. Well, Bird will help you, help you show more rust, too. I think he's very rusty, but I think that Bird. Um, speed and reflexes are making him even look worse. And uh, he's not popping a jab. He's not accepting a jab like his trainer told me. Well. And he's got to go. 39 and 15, has been stopped seven times in his career, a career that started back in 1982. Oh, he's fought nine champions, you figure. And he's fought everybody from Mike Tyson and Larry Holmes. So uh, he's really the guy, the turnaround fight that really started his career as a still meant something back in January 1987 on the old score network, I might add, and uh, on a Roberto Duran undercard. I remember the fight, and uh, that's the thing that brought him into prominence. And uh, we mentioned this fight with Mike Tyson. Gave Mike Tyson, a young Mike Tyson, all that he could handle before finally uh, getting stopped in the 10th round. Right now, Bird is having his way with Volta. Volta right now can't get inside, can't solve the puck. And uh, Bird is putting in front of him. Bird right now is being used, fighting from different angles, punching when he feels like it. He likes the jab, he likes the speed. Uh, he's making a show of Volta right now. Volta has to do something big time right now, which is jab. Rick. And Bird, uh, Bird loves this. This is classic Chris Bird. He's having a good time. That expression comes on his face, and you just know. He's having a good time. If it goes 10 or if it goes one more round, he's having fun. Okay, he's got one more round. He's going to the right hand with him. Back in the right hand. You're gonna throw one punch, follow with another punch. You ain't following with no punch. Every time you stick your head in there, you should be ready to punch. Because you're, you're breaking yourself down to a side. Don't be doing that. It's when you throw the right hand, send the right hand down the pipe. You're sending the right hand to New York. You understand? When did I tell you to hit him today? Where? Forget this. You got me? Give me a rest. Oh, yeah. Give me one. Okay, now. Rose, give me some grease on your hand at all times after this round. Okay, now that's working. Cam in a circle this time. As we begin round number three, Dale Grable works, works for Volta back to the corner. A little bit too much grease on the chin of Nino. It's been all Chris Byrne here thus far. And in between, Norman Wilson really screaming at Revolta to use his head. You've got the experience, you're not using it. And, you know, Kevin, another interesting thing, we heard a, a, a sound bite earlier from Chris Byrne talking about the fact that he's really a middleweight moving up to heavyweight. Of course, he never fought pro at middleweight. But in the 92 Olympics, he was down near the cliff. He really even 
you know, he turned pro at 169, then jumped to 77. Next thing you knew, he was 193 pounds and into the 200s. And at the time, I remember Paul Baden was living with Chris Bird, and they were training together with Joe Bird. And he told me about Chris's program. He says, you got to see what's going on with Chris. He's down in the basement. He's working with weights. He's going to be a heavyweight. And I said, come on, how can he be a heavyweight? And then he made a conscious decision. That's where he wanted to be and did a terrific job at it. Still small for heavyweight. Right now, he's actually hurting for both of them with those punches. The two believe that he can hurt him. I'm not going to be down about it. I lost many times before an amateur. I mean, it, it doesn't make a difference, you know, if I don't want to. If the fight was coming right back again, I probably would have fought six weeks later anyway. You know, I just wanted to stay busy. I still feel I'm in great shape. Still feel I'm one of the best heavyweights in the world. And I just want to prove to the world that I can come bounce right back and just keep boxing. And don't even think about the loss. That's it. That's it. Can you can you see Jose? Can you see? 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 Kevin, in a neurological sense, I don't know what's going on here right now. Can't see the punches coming. The punches are very quick, and maybe something did let him in the eye. Maybe, just maybe. But I don't know if not being able to see, as in detached retina not being able to see, or thumb in the eyes not being able to see. As far in substance, we're going to try to get a reading here. We were just listening between rounds about Chris Bird talking about coming back into the ring as quickly as he did and not thinking about the loss. Well, sometimes easier said than done in terms of the not thinking aspect. But um, we'll talk more about that, I'm sure, with Chris when he comes down here. But Jose Rabalta not able to continue. And uh, there's Chris Burke picking up his son. And uh, very happy corner in Chris Bird world right now. There's Chris's mom who also works cuts in the corner along with his dad, Joe Bird. 
Chris Burton will improve to 28 and 1. That's his 16th win by way of knockout. Revolta will drop down to 39 and 16. We'd like to find out a little bit more about his eyes, but first we're going to find out the official time of the stoppage. We're going to go up to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. At the end of the fourth round, physician at ringside examined Jose Revolta. His vision is impaired. He's unable to continue. The ringside physician advised our referee, Dale Grable, to call a halt to the bout. He did so. The official time comes at the end of four. The winner by knockout victory. His record now, 27 victories, 15 KOs from Flint, Michigan, Chris Bay. Once again, Chris Byrne improves to 28 and 1. 16 wins by way of knockout, looking, making it look very easy over veteran Jose Rabalta, who drops down to 39 and 16. We'll try to get Chris down here, and he'll tell us a little bit about exactly what's in the future for Chris Byrne. And uh, doesn't seem to be showing any ill effects or lack of confidence from uh, the Ibiabuchi fight. He's now put two straight wins back in the bank, showing all of the classic elements of Chris Bird. The hand speed was certainly there and uh, was able to take control from the very beginning.